crafty friends. This is Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa. Um, I first want to apologize for being late with my um, holiday card series uh, video from yesterday. I had a very minor uh, medical procedure done and I was, that's exactly what I thought. It was going to be very minor and I could get my video up yesterday. Well, it wasn't it was minor, but it wasn't so minor to me. It, it threw me for a loop, and I just did not feel well yesterday. Anyhow, I am here today with um, the the card to put together for you. Um, as you know, if you watch my channel, you know that I typically color sitting on the couch at night watching TV with my husband. And so that's what I did. This stamp is called Cling Birdie Greetings from Stampendous. I have had this in my stash for a few years and have never used it. So I have someone in mind specifically that I know would love this card. So I thought, let me ink this up and, and you know, um, make a card out of this. So I'm starting out with my colored image. I'm doing a very simple design. I have pulled two um, sheets of paper from Honey Bee's Farm Fresh Holiday. And this paper pad came out last year. I will have all of the um, supplies that I've used linked down below. Some will be affiliate links, some will not be. So, or actually the ones that I can find. And then um, I'm using my trusty Fiskars non-stick scissors to cut my foam tape because I am going to mount this up um, on some foam tape. And then I have some Nuvo glitter accents and then I'll be using my art glitter glue. So I have a piece of wild cherry cardstock. And I cut it with a MFT stitched um, stacks rectangle die set. And <clears throat> like I said, I'll have all the supplies linked down below. I wanted that papa red in the background, but I didn't want a whole lot of color behind the birds because... The bird panel is pretty colorful, you know, with those winter colors, and and so I, I went for a very muted tone color palette for my pattern papers. But a uh, pretty, pretty red card base. I have kind of gotten out of the habit of of colored card bases, but I love a colored card base. And then I'll go back later on and put a white panel in the inside so that you can write on it easier. Okay, so let me get my foam cut, my foam strips cut to cover the back of my panel. I hope everyone's doing okay today. I, um, my husband sprung on me last night that we are going to go Christmas shopping today. Usually we Christmas shop on the couch. <laughs> but there were several things that we couldn't get so he, we on the couch. So he said we're going to veer out and head out Christmas shopping. So that's kind of a, unusual for us. But, you know, it'll be a nice day out. Get, get out and go do something. We never do anything. Except go to doctor's appointments, it seems, and go to the gym. <laughs> Those are the two things we do. And the grocery store. <laughs> Three things. So, so it'll be nice to get out and go. go do something together that we don't normally do. Okay, so let me get my foam tape pulled off of here. 
and I'll get it down and then I will get my glitter accents on. I'm gonna use that to cover up the snow on the branches, to put some snow in the sky. There we go. I had so much fun coloring this panel. All right, some snow on the pine, pine cones. Now, I haven't used this in a long time, so hoping it's going to come out. Oh, yeah, it looks nice. It's kind of thick, though. But uh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. We had a thick snowfall last night <laughs> on the card. All right, some snow down here on the branches. And while I am snowing <laughs> with my glitter accents, let me know in the description box down below. Do you live, and I may have asked this question before, and if I did, I'm sorry. Do you live in a climate where it snows? I don't. And if you do, do you like cold weather? I do not like cold weather. I am a Florida girl through and through because I just do not like cold weather at all. Okay, I'm kind of spreading that out just a tiny bit. And I missed a berry. And I think I'm going to not put any other embellishments on it because I think that's going to be plenty of sparkle when it's dry. So, I, well, I kind of apologize that this card was simple and, and, you know, fast and didn't take very long. Let me know also in the description box below if there's anything else you would like to see in my holiday card series. So that is the card for today. I will be back again later today with another video um, because I need to, I don't want to get behind on my other videos. So my not too shabby Christmas edition video will be up late, probably late this evening. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all being here and, and supporting my channel. And I will catch you in the next video. Bye.